and the public by stealing a lumber truck and circling about the community. He's been staying in the same general area and he's been seen waving to people on the sidewalk. Incredibly, many pedestrians are not only enjoying the show, they're actually encouraging the performance. Now there's people in the media and I think one of them just gave him a high five. Unbelievable. This semi continues up the wrong side of the road here. Cars are stopped. That there's enough room for this guy to get through. There's a traffic jam ahead. One car is trying to back up as the truck heads across the median now. A cruiser rushes forward with guns aimed at the semi's rear tires. The bullets find their mark. But an unbelievable complication is about to turn this chase into a terrifying display. It looks like there's smoke coming from the back of the truck. Sparks from the grinding rims have flown up to the truck's payload, igniting the cords of lumber. Big plume of smoke now. Within seconds, the semi turns into a rolling inferno. And now there's flames. The truck is on fire. This is absolutely unbelievable. Flames race up the stacks of two-by-fours. 6,000 pounds of kindling on the move. The insane heat builds to an explosive level. A burning tire blows loose and rockets down the street like an unguided missile. Oh, look at that. It's rolling free. It's completely engulfed in flames heading through that parking lot. The suspect continues his manic parade as if this is all just part of an act. This is so dangerous for everybody out on the road right now. He doesn't realize that his lethal actions are about to reap a lethal response. You can see a police van pulling up from behind as four pieces fly off that truck. A white van rushes in behind the fiery fugitive. Inside is a tactical team with orders to use deadly force. As the driver tries to steer his rig across the median, the truck's exposed rims get stuck on the curb. Officers know this may be their only chance. The van's opening up. Officers are jumping out. They're rushing towards the semi. And that one officer has his gun drawn. I think he's firing. As bullets tear through the cab, the driver stomps on the gas, panicked and confused. He's pulling away. They, they don't know if he was hit or not. He thought this was all fun and games, but it's become life and death. Hard over the median there, and he jostles that payload. Desperate to shake the cadre of police on his tail, he suddenly gets a terrifying idea. Oh, the lumber spilled all over the roadway. He jerks the semi back and forth, shaking loose the truck's cargo as a blockade. His desperate act bought him some time, enough time to buy himself a lot more trouble. There's a school bus ahead, and he charges past his lumber falling off. The dangling lumber strikes the back of a school bus. Inside, a jostled child is injured by the impact. No matter what it takes, police have to end this chase now, before another innocent gets caught in this guy's sights. They charge forward for another shot at him, but the driver veers wildly, cutting them off. Police make the call for sharpshooters and helicopters to take action. There are several police airships closing in nearby. He slowed way down here. Officers are holding their position, and it looks like he's coming to a complete stop now. Police aren't sure what to make of his sudden change of heart, but the suspect has a good reason for stopping. It turns out that the tactical assault had worked. With incredible marksmanship at a full sprint, the officer hit the driver before he could pull away. Police rush in, he's on the ground, and it looks like they've got him. He's not resisting, suspect being taken into custody. Whatever ideas this out-of-work trucker had about show business, one of them just gave him a high five. His career rapidly went up in smoke. It's rolling free, completely engulfed in flames. And instead of improving his resume, his lumber the roadway. He only built up his rap sheet. There's a school bus. His next performance will be for an audience of only 12 in a court of law.